the anointing is the God part. I do everything I can do, but then at some point I need the anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's my sense of dependence. It's my sense that if your strong hand is not on my life, then it does not matter what I do. It does not matter what I say. It doesn't matter what my efforts are. They'll fall short. And the anointing is my acknowledgement that I need him. Jesus stood up in his very first sermon open to the book of Isaiah. And what did he say? The spirit of the Lord has anointed me. So the promise was born, the promise had grown, but the promise needed the anointing. And Joash needed the same thing. The promise couldn't be hid any longer. The tide had come in, the harvest was ripe, and God was ready to send revival to the nation of Judah again. The instructions were, stay close to the king. Wherever he goes, you go. Station yourself at an altar where the king is, we're going to anoint the promise, send out invitations, tell everyone that they're to come. And the temple day comes where the anointing is going to occur. It's packed out wall to wall, can't fit people in the temple. The priest walks Joash out now full grown or, or at a grown place. And they look at this young Man, and they anoint him and tell the nation, we thought it was over. We thought there was no chance. We thought there was no hope. But back in the temple, there's been a promise that's been hidden, but it's been growing. And now it's time to take that promise and anoint it. And the tide begins to turn for the nation. <laughs> 